Hey guys, it's Finn17, we're back in another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get these 97 and 98 um, legendary players fast. So before we do start with the video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys don't know, so follow me on Instagram and join my Discord. Link will be in the description. And let's try to get 100 likes on this video, guys. That would be awesome. So, um, obviously, we got the new Field Pass S8. Um, it's pretty decent. I mean, 102 overall, 250 power players. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, as you can see, I just logged on um, and got this. So, um, let's do a little bit of a pack opening, and then we can uh, we can decide what we should do. Um, and I gotta be 100% honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna get the Field Pass this time around because I don't know. We don't have really that long to do. There's not gonna be tournaments or anything. So. I think I'm just going to grind my way up to 50k free to play and then we'll go from there. Um, but this is how to get the 97 and 98s fast. So if you don't uh, know what I'm talking about, just go to the legendary sets here and then you're going to see these 97s. The 98s will come out this coming Monday. Um, hopefully this decides to load. Uh, there we go. So um, 97 overalls right now, you can see Mark Gastineau, Julius Thomas, Matt Light and Nick Fairley. And then if you look in the rewards in the um, the solo battles, you can see the 98s, which will come out on Monday, like I said. Um, so this is how to get them fast. Let's just take a look at the requirements. You need 196, 20 solo battles, badges, and 193 plus overall. Basically, just like any other field pass, you're going to need one of these players. So as you can see, you're going to need 1082 plus program players, um, 583 plus SA players, uh, 488 pluses, and 193 plus SA player along with 500 solo or 500 solo battles tokens and you get a 96 overall it really doesn't matter who you get um because you know it's just any so let's take a uh, trip over to solo battles um and we'll see what's there so obviously it's like the same thing you know you have some stamina um and every day you play all the way over here and then you claim your points if you buy the field pass you can gain some other points and those points are crucial um, but as you play these and then you unlock the blitz events, you can get solo battles and badges there. Um, and you need 20 of those, keep in mind, to get one of the 97s. In my opinion, there's going to be several, several, like, ways to get these, you know, by the tournaments, sets, everything. So I would not recommend buying these right now because you're going to get them for free, you know, later on. Um, but this is just if you, you know, you want to get a head start. So you obviously got to purchase these. Um, it gives you some points and some players as well to help. How to get the uh the s like the program players that you need um so as you can see uh if you go over to sets again uh let me go over here it's a little bit confusing um also all the way over here so for Cortland finnegan if you want like him you can see exactly what you need um i believe uh this is actually i think it's just 10 straight program players not if any team actually okay so that's pretty that's pretty sick i didn't even know that um, so just any 10 82 plus players, um, program players, obviously, and then you can just get a 96, which is pretty awesome. So I believe you can just get them, um, by playing the solo battles. There is an event at the middle and I'll show you right here that usually gives you program players. Um, this gives you a blank badge. It looks like you can just get program players from these events as well. That's pretty cool. Um, but as you progress, obviously you're going to get more and more of these points. And obviously the points are the most crucial things in field passes. Um, so as you can see, this is what you get free to play and pay to win. You get some cash as you move along. You're going to get a 98 overall captain for 45k points if you buy the field pass. And then a 102 overall along with a 98 for 50,000 points, which is absolutely insane. And at 200k, you're going to get a 102 overall. So this is crucial because for these, you can get a lieutenant player, I believe, if you buy the field pass. As, oh no, this is for a regular. So if you get 125k points for to play, which is honestly not that hard. It's going to be a little bit harder with the uh, tournaments not being there, but you get a 96 overall here. So if you get that, you're already squared away um, to get that. And all you need is the 20, um, the power rankings or solo battles badges, and then 193 plus. Now those 93 pluses are going to be such a pain to get. Do not buy them at this point. Um, if you want to exchange two S7s, if you saved them up, honestly, this is a great set. Uh, you got a 24 hour cooldown. Um, obviously, EA give out a ton of those with the ending of the tournaments. And now, as you can see, these players are probably going to go for a ton. Let me go to S8. And yeah, so 2.7 mil is definitely not what that goes for. But as you can see, they're insane. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this field pass. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it to buy the field pass. I would save up, try to get the 50k points for to play, maybe even 100k. Um, and, you know, just go from there. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out.